I just finished editing the carnival video um, part two the computer is now rendering the video at home so I decided to go out and get a little fresh air remember I wanted to show you the cinema at gems well I decided to go catch a movie today and it's movie day today but today it's only me so here's the heads up don't expect anybody else but me in this vlog Tuesday today and I have no idea why this place is full look at this we got to wait for parking so since I'm down here waiting for parking I thought maybe I'll just talk to the camera because I got nothing else better to do today I'm planning to watch Jumanji and uh, expect a movie review since in my last oh okay finally after 30 minutes I managed to find parking I think my first stop is to go see if there's tickets for the movie Watching it alone, good seat. Man, I can't even find a quiet place to talk. All right, the reason why I prefer to watch at Jams is because it's close by to my house. It's closer to where I stay. See, so noisy. It's supposed to be less crowded. I don't know why is it so crowded today. It's a Tuesday today and it's so crowded. I don't know why. But in terms of the cinema, the sound system in Cathay is a lot better than GB. However, Seat wise, not so much. I still prefer the seats in Golden Village than Cathay. That's just my little two cents opinion on the two different companies in Singapore. Two different cinema companies in Singapore. Price wise, Cathay is a little bit more expensive. Actually, it's Tuesday today. I should have watched at Golden Village because it's only $6.50. Today, my ticket is $8. So, dumb me. For those of you who are curious to know where Jams is, Gem is located at Jurong East MRT. There are four shopping malls nearby. It is uh, IMM, J Cube, and Westgate. Plus Gem. So there's four shopping malls nearby. It's actually a lot bigger than Vivo City and Harbourfront. So yeah, I should explore here a bit more. I should hang out here more. My group, they are always in the town area. You guys should come to the west side more often. Since I got a little bit more time to kill, I think I should go live on YouTube and, you know, communicate with you guys. I know you guys always comment that I go live really, really late. So, since I got a little time today, I'll go live a bit earlier today. I'm just done with the live stream. Uh, you, I put a link here if you guys want to watch it. Yeah, it was a pretty good live stream with my, all my subscribers. It's always good to communicate with your subscribers. It's always fun. Time to go for the movie. But first, a little snack from Moss Burger. This is my favorite here. Yeah. going to this movie I was like wait the story is gonna be the same I mean how else could they make a better story out of the old one hang on let me adjust the camera a bit the movie is about a group of kids who plays this magical game board game which now they make it to a video game and then so happened it sucks them into the game in order for them to survive they got to win the game it is no spoiler you guys would know how this movie is going to end but coming out of this movie, instead of bashing in this movie, there is really some good things that happen in this movie. Being a comedy movie, it's supposed to be a comedy movie. And it's supposed to be funny. It lived up to it. It was hilarious. This whole movie was hilarious. So it lived up to its name. If you have a horror movie and it's not scary at all, you did not lift up to your name. If it was an action movie and there was no action in it, then it sucks. A thriller movie is supposed to be thrilling. I'm not a fan of Kevin Hart, but he played this movie really well. This movie had a lot of cliché in it, like 
everything is really expected. The parts that you know that, okay, look, Kevin Hart is supposed to crack a joke now. He nailed it every single time. So to me, that is a good thing. Because for me, if I'm expecting a joke at that point of time, you better nail it. And he did. He did it really, really well. The CGI, the animation, everything looks beautiful. I would say this movie is definitely a good time. You can definitely watch this movie and you can enjoy it. It's just pure laughter throughout the whole movie. There's this character in the movie, her name is Bethany. It always reminds me of Cassandra. <laughs> Throughout the whole movie, she's like asking, Where's my phone? Where's my phone? And then that always reminds me of Cassandra. That's pretty much it. It started a bit slow, but towards when they are in Jumanji, that's where you will get non-stop of laughter. So that is my Jumanji movie review. There's no spoiler in this movie. You can't spoil this movie when you already know the story of this movie. Anyways guys, short little vlog today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please remember to subscribe, hit that notification button, give me a thumbs up like, and share my videos. Always leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!